Today I'm going to be making something amazing. If you guys like Caesar salad, if you guys like pork belly, this is your video. Now I have the Caesar salad dressing recipe that is incredible. You are going to love it. I am disappointed 99% of the time when I go out for Caesar salads now because of this dressing. So I'm going to show you how to make the dressing. I'm going to show you how to make some incredible croutons. Um, we're going to make a wonderful Caesar salad and then I just happen to have this small piece of pork belly which I'm going to be putting in my smoker today and then we're going to make a applewood smoked apple cider braised pork belly and we're going to put that on top of our Caesar salad. It's going to be awesome. So I'm going to give you guys a little trivia today. Who knows where Caesar salad dressing, Caesar salad, the Caesar salad was started? Right, if you said Tijuana, Mexico, you are exactly correct. No joke, in 1924, there's an American, Italian-American restaurateur named Cesar Cardini, and he had a restaurant in Tijuana, Mexico, and he was out of stuff. He only had a little bit of goods left in his restaurant, and he had some friends he needed to serve dinner, and so he threw together this mixture of ingredients, and that is how Caesar salad was invented and you can still go down there today I believe to this famous restaurant in Tijuana and get yourself a Caesar salad right where it began. If you thought Europe, if you thought Rome, France, that's what I thought but no, Tijuana, Mexico is Caesar salad's heaven. Okay so let's get started on this Caesar salad dressing. So the first ingredient we're going to throw into the food processor and we're doing this entire recipe in a food processor. It is simple, it is easy, and it's actually the way it comes out the best. So first we are using six huge garlic cloves. I would use six big garlic cloves or eight small ones right in the food processor. Two delicious eggs. I am using organic eggs, healthy, happy chickens made these eggs. So right in the blender in the food processor. Actually, you know, a Vitamix or a blender would probably work just as good. Next, we have our anchovy paste. So these tubes are awesome. The recipe calls for three ounces of anchovy paste, and these tubes are 1.5, 1.7 ounces each. So just squeeze two of these tubes that you can get at your grocery store, super easy. So right in to the food processor, we are squeezing our anchovy paste. <clears throat> okay, we got one, and now you gotta pop the top with the cap, squeeze that right in, nice and yummy. This anchovy paste really gives the Caesar salad this really unique, salty, little fishy, it's really, I would say one of the ingredients that you say, yep, this is Caesar dressing. We have the delicious anchovy in it. Okay, so go to the grocery store and get any kind of eight ounce container of Parmesan cheese. And yes, we dump this entire container in. Just like that. Now, we need some lemon juices next. I'm using organic lemon juice, volcano Italian lemon juice, delicious. So I have a quarter cup, one quarter cup, and I'm gonna have this recipe written down below so you can get it after the video. So we pour the lemon juice right in the food processor. Next, we need some red wine vinegar. I guess that's the only vinegar that Caesar had when he was making this. Anyway, mine just happens to be organic, and we use a half a cup, one half cup, right in our processor again and then this recipe calls for just a dash of Worcestershire 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 however you want to pronounce it anyway Lee and Perrin's I think is the absolute best it has the spiciness it has all the ingredients you want big fan just a dash so just a little splash there and that's all there is to it now put the lid on the food processor the most important thing i've said this before when you're making any kind of dressing is you want to put the oil in very slowly 
It's how it gets emulsified. When everything's blended together and you add the oil very slowly, then the dressing doesn't break. It stays together. So we just turn on the food processor and we pour in very slowly. By the way, that was two cups, two cups of canola oil, and I did use some organic canola oil. You can use regular canola oil. Canola oil is a very neutral oil, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. That's what I like in my Caesar salad dressing. So, this batch makes about five cups of dressing. It fills up about a quart jar and then a little cup jar. And it's enough to last, well, it depends on how much you like Caesar dressing. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to put the dressing in the jars and you want it to sit in the fridge for at least an hour, two hours to let it set up and get nice and firm. That is how easy this dressing is. Now, to make homemade croutons brings up your Caesar salad to a whole nother level. You go to the store, you buy the store-bought ones, they're crunchy, they taste like crackers, they're hard. What you really want is a delicious homemade cooked crouton that comes out of the oven and you want to have a little crunch but then you want to have a little softness, a little give on the inside. So I have half of a baguette and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it right in half, right down the center. Very simple. Just like so. And then I'm just going to take the baguette and cut it into strips. I'm going to try to do, we'll see what we come up with here. I'm going to do decent sized croutons today, so we're going to cut them in strips of three like that. And so cut them lengthwise and then we just cut across. So we want to keep a nice uniform size. And we want them to be nice and even, just like so. So, about yay big, and we'll just toss them in a bowl. Do the next one. Now this part of the baguette is a little thicker, but that's all right. We're gonna have nice sized croutons. It's easier to cut the crouton on the outside of the bread surface, I find, too. When you cut flipped over like this, you tend to tear the bread a little. So you also want to have a really nice, sharp bread knife. That's a, definitely helpful when doing croutons. So make sure you have something similar to this. Put these in the bowl. Okay. So I use olive oil when I'm doing my croutons and I just happened to have some garlic oil. I made some garlic confit and then I strained out the garlic and then this is the remaining oil. It's got an amazing garlic flavor to it. So I'm gonna add about probably two tablespoons, enough, enough to, you wanna really cover all the croutons and but I have some pink Himalayan salt and I use probably about a tablespoon of that. Then I'm gonna grind some black pepper now, if you want the garlicky flavor, you can always use garlic powder, granulated garlic, and put that in with your salt and pepper if you don't have any garlic oil. And I'm just giving the croutons a toss. I'm trying to cover the croutons with as much oil as possible. You want them to be really nice and saturated and get all the seasonings, the salt and pepper, evenly distributed on the croutons. And then we're just gonna dump the croutons onto this tray here. And I'm gonna put these in the oven at 300, and I'm gonna check them at about 10 to 15 minutes, see how they are, and it's really, you're doing this by eye. You check them every, you check them for the first, after the first 10 to 15 minutes, and then after that, about every five minutes until you get to the crunch on the outside where they have just a little give on the inside. And that's how simple it is to make amazing croutons for your Caesar salad. Okay, so I'm checking the croutons now. We'll take them out of the oven. 
They're smelling amazing. We got this awesome garlicky olive oil. And see how they're they're nice and they're hard on the outside, but they have a little woof, they're hot. They have a little a little give to them. Mmm. They're just about perfect. I'm gonna leave them in for probably another two minutes and they are good to go. Now it is time to put together our Caesar salad. We have all the ingredients completed and we're gonna start with our romaine lettuce. I'm gonna cut off the end and give it a toss. And a simple way to do romaine lettuce is you cut down the center, turn it a quarter way, cut down the center again, and then start cutting in about one inch pieces. Just like that. Toss your lettuce in the bowl. Okay, now we have our beautiful Caesar dressing that we made. Amazing. And we're going to put, I'd probably for this amount of lettuce, just one nice, good, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And then you need your tongs. Tongs are our friends with salad. And we just want to toss the salad. Make sure that we get all the romaine lettuce covered with the dressing. You want to be evenly coated. You don't want to have some pieces that have no dressing and some that have a ton of dressing. So you want to give it a really good mix. Take your time. Make sure you get everything coated. Beautiful. Okay. So we are going to plate our Caesar salad. Now when you're plating a salad, getting Really nice, tall profile is definitely what you're looking for. We have our beautiful homemade croutons, and we'll just sprinkle some of those on top, like so. And I got some amazing shaved Parmesan cheese here that we're going to sprinkle some of that on top. Beautiful, super tasty. And now we are gonna get the braised pork belly that I made and we're gonna put it on top of this amazing salad. Now we are adding our beautiful pork belly to this Caesar salad and there you have it. A smoked pork belly Caesar salad, delicious. So now is the moment I've been waiting for all day. I get to try this amazing Caesar salad with the smoked braised pork belly on top. We are just gonna dig right in. First, I'm gonna try the salad with the dressing. Mm. I'm telling you, this is the best Caesar salad dressing you will ever make. It is so delicious, it's so cheesy, garlicky. It's what a Caesar salad dressing should be. Now let's try the pork belly. I'm so excited to try this. Oh my God, amazing. The flavor, it's like bacon, but it's not as salty as bacon. You taste the smoke apple wood and the sweetness from the apple juice. It is just fantastic. Anyway, as always, please just subscribe down below if you'd like to check out more videos and hit the notification button so that you can be notified when my next videos are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you on my next video.